Hi, welcome to Just a Lab Simulation videos. So, well, today I show you how to optimize a set of cursor so you can also achieve a good frame rate while playing in 4K. Imagine the quality of a set of cursor with all the full settings. That's what I always do in my videos, and uh, I'm getting always 60 or more frames per second. Even in VR, I can drive with 90 FPS with full settings enabled, and uh, which is still more than 4K and having my 90 FPS. So what you see here is the beautiful Koenigsegg Chimera. We will see this car later on in a quick drive through the streets of Paris. And here we go. I show you what to set up to go for optimized frame rate in 4K playing for a set of cursor. Let's go. Here we start. So well, here we begin our configuring a set of cursor for optimized 4K play. And uh, I'm going to start with the video settings and then we will go on to the custom shaders patch, which is mandatory uh, to have this installed for playing in 4K with optimized graphics quality and frame rate settings. So when we go to video, you need to choose rendering mode, single screen, the resolution you need to set to 4K. I've set it to 60 Hertz because my monitor is not uh, able to do more than 60 Hertz in 4K mode. So choose 4K resolution. I'm going to choose the VSync. It's marked here and the limit the frame rate. It's now limited to 90 FPS because I'm using the same settings also for VR gaming. From the quality, I've set everything to maximum, MSAA to eight times, anisotropic filtering to 16, world details to maximum, shadow resolution to 4096. You can go to higher resolution, but this is not recommended, and uh, smoke generation also set to maximum, show smoke in mirror is set on and reflection resolution also set to maximum of 2048 by 2048. Rendering frequency set to six phases per frame, which is also the maximum rendering distance set to maximum. So you can see nearly everything is set up to maximum also the mirror resolution to 512 by 2048 and uh, then you need to enable the post-processing effects i've chosen the c13 camera obscura filter which is my preferred filter but you can play around with uh, any other filters to find something that fits best for your needs. Motion blur, I've set to off. I don't really like this uh, motion blur saturation. I've set also to maximum to 120%. Heat shimmering is set to on. Sun rays is set to on. FXAA is set to on. Everything to high quality to maximum. That's possible. So that's the settings for a set of cursor, the video settings. And now we go on to the essential settings for the custom shaders patch. So then go to custom shaders patch and ensure that you have installed the most recent version, which is currently 0.1.78 preview one. But be careful, you only can get this version when using the Patreon version, which is a paid version. You can get it about uh, from starting one euro per month which is fully worth it if you do not have the paid version i think you you can uh, use the 0 0.1.76 or lower but always ensure you have the latest version installed but you will have a lot of benefits using the paid version um, you can use the rain effects and so on but uh, it should also work with the non-paid version so then we go to the graphics adjustments in general i have also set nearly everything to on, all 
options maxed out, all options enabled in the custom shaders patch, but really essential is to go to the graphics adjustments and um, set this extension to active. And then we have the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution, which is the most important thing we need to configure here. And uh, don't be afraid if you have an uh, NVIDIA card. I have an NVIDIA card too, so it's uh, working also for NVIDIA card, not only for AMD cards. So you can also uh, see that there are some uh, options already marked in red because it's active. So you need to activate the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution. And uh, what is really important, you should mark the old implementation. I said it too off now. If it's set too off, you can then choose the quality from custom quality, which is 87 uh, percent, uh, down to performance. I don't really recommend performance or balance or quality. It will not give you the real quality you expect. But when you go to ultra quality, you will really not see any difference uh, of the upscaled uh, picture compared to the picture when not using the Fidelity FX Super Resolution. But as I said, it's really essential to go here and choose the old implementation because um, there are some uh, problems uh, with the official SDK and um, I strongly recommend to use this old implementation. Then again, go to quality. It's now marked as quality old. If you do not mark this old implementation, it will say quality new. So go to quality old and uh, choose this ultra quality, which is then set to 88%. And uh, we have the sharpness old, which you can set to auto, to very low, low, medium, high, and very high. I made the experience that you can set this to very low, which gives you a much better picture than set it to any other values, especially very high. You will sometimes see some artifacts on the car and on the tracks and on the edges. So set this one to very low. The other parameters you can leave per default as it is. So that's it for the graphics adjustment. And another thing we need to configure then, you need to go to the extra effects. Ensure that extra effects is also set to active. And then you have a slider for extra sharpness. I think it's set by default to 50%. You can see it, it's now turning white when you go to 50%. And set this extra sharpness also to zero. This is also strongly recommended. You can also see it here. If you go to this option, uh, then there's a hint for the best look, disable extra sharpness and then enable Fidelity FX by AMD in graphics adjustment section, what we already have done. So that's it for the settings. The other options, as in any other thing, I've set to maximum here, everything to high, everything enabled. So if you have done everything like this now, you can go start and see how many frames per second you will achieve. The easiest way to do this, independent from your screen options, if you have uh, enabled VSync or not, or any frame rate uh, restriction, I show you how to check your frame rates now. So I'll easily go back to your Asset Corsa, go to the video settings, and then on the lower right, you will see a button called Benchmark. Just click on the benchmark and uh, it will automatically start a benchmark using a quick race in SPA. So here we go with the benchmark. So all you will now see here some cars racing automatically on the SPA track. 
will see them going to the Eau Rouge. And you can wait a few seconds. Don't be afraid by that jittering wheel. <laughs> Steering wheel. That's uh, no problem. Just let it run a while. And uh, I recommend just let them run until the end of the straight. And then simply press the escape button to return back to the menu. So here we go. Pressing escape back to the menu. So then we have pressed the escape key and you're back in the menu. You will see uh, the benchmark results, which gives me at the moment an average FPS of 75 frames per second, a minimum FPS of 69 frames per second. And uh, this shows that I've been always able to go above the 60 FPS, which my monitor is capable. So you can close this window now. So here we go now with some pictures from the Koenigsegg Chimera racing through the streets of Paris and uh, well as you can see it's a superb graphics here and I've chosen the Paris track because it's really demanding and uh, also this car the Koenigsegg Chimera is a really complex car with the nice interior of that fantastic car here and uh, on the lower right you can see two windows with the render studs uh, which shows you the also the frame rate in the game uh, it's now fixed to 60 you can see because uh, this represents the frame rate as is effectively shown on your screen which is maximum of 60 fps on my side and you see it's uh, nice picture without stuttering and with superb quality all in 4k and uh, if you do not already know how to get this uh, uh, statistics on your screen you can go to the right and then look for the render stats CSP just click on it and it will be shown on your screen maybe it's a little bit small uh, on on the screen now uh, so you can't see it so exactly but uh, you will see it on your screen it's big enough and look at the quality of this car and the reflections all the details on the road is absolutely fantastic and uh, well that's it I hope you will also be satisfied with these settings and get your 60 <laughs> fps while playing in 4k uh, thanks a lot for watching here just to lap sim racing videos. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up and would be happy if you subscribe to my channel. Just enjoy a few more meters with this nice Koenigsegg Chimera in the streets of Paris. Have a nice day. If you have any questions, leave some comments. I'm happy to answer all your questions about the settings of a Corsa playing in 4K. Have a nice day. Bye bye.